Creating a Thread To follow along with this lesson, download the project from the top of our lesson page at zoax.net. In this lesson, we create a thread to run concurrently with our main thread of execution. A thread is the line of execution. Most simple programs have one thread which executes the program. For example, a typical console program begins executing the main function from beginning to end. However, multi-threaded programs have more than one line of execution and can execute multiple lines of code simultaneously. As we make real-time games, for example, we will typically use one thread to execute the game loop and update the game state while the other thread processes user interface commands such as key presses and mouse clicks. Our example program given here is much simpler. The main thread creates a second thread to execute a loop in a function that increments a counter. Meanwhile, the main thread runs a loop that prints out the value of the counter at the present time and then waits for input. Here's how the program works. First, threads are part of the Windows operating system, so we must include the header windows.h. Then we include IO stream for input and output. At line 5, we have the declaration for our created threads function. The definition comes later. Our initial thread begins execution in the main function. In the main function, we call create thread to create our second thread. Most of the parameters that we pass in are zero, and we will ignore those. The remaining parameters that we pass in are the function that defines where our thread begins execution, an unsigned integer for the counter that the thread will increment, and the address of a variable that will hold the thread ID of the newly created thread. For this lesson, we will ignore the thread ID. The thread function is defined here and takes a void pointer argument. The argument that is passed in is our counter variable. At the beginning of the function, we cast the parameter back to an unsigned integer pointer. Then we dereference the pointer and create a reference to it. That's a bit confusing, so we will give an illustration. The address of our counter is passed into the function here. The function takes the address as our pointer to a void type, so we can cast the pointer back to a pointer to an unsigned int. Then we dereference and assign it to our local reference. Once we have the reference, we can refer to it as we would any unsigned int. Inside of the thread function, we run a while loop that increments the counter up to the maximum value for an unsigned int. This number is 0x followed by 8fs for hexadecimal. In decimal, this number is just over 4 trillion. Once the counter reaches its maximum, the thread exits the function and stops running. While our newly created thread is running its counting loop inside of our thread function, the main function is running a loop that outputs the current value of the counter after every time we press enter. We exit this loop by pressing Q and then enter. After we exit the loop by entering Q, we close the handle to our created thread. Executing the program, we see that it prints out 0, which is the starting value of the counter, and then waits for input. Hitting enter a few times, we see the value of the counter outputted a few times. Note that the longer you wait between hitting enter, the more the counter increases. Eventually the counter hits its maximum value, which is outputted from then on. Finally, we can enter Q to quit this loop. This concludes the lesson.